Myanmar military coups democratically elected government. The coup. The Myanmar military declared an emergency on 1 February 2021 and used it as a reason to coup the democratically elected government headed by Aung San Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy NLD. The NLD soundly defeated the military's party in a landslide during the second general election held in November 2020. The military had been falsely claiming since then that massive electoral fraud, which could not be detected by any independent observers, had led to their crushing defeat at the polls. The military promises to restore free and fair elections when the emergency ends in a year's time. The Myanmar military the Myanmar military had originally seized power in 1962, 14 years after Myanmar gained its independence, when it performed an auto-coup while serving as a caretaker government due to turmoil in the previous ruling party. Only in 1990 did the military agree to hold elections, but when the NLD also won in a landslide then, the military refused to accept the results and held on to power. Later on, in 2010, the military agreed to release Suu Kyi, who had been up till then under house arrest for 15 years and held elections once more. Suu Kyi then assumed the position of state councillor in 2016 after the NLD won overwhelmingly in the first general election in 2015. Even then, the military existed as an entity independent from and was not subservient to the civilian NLD government, meaning that Suu Kyi had no powerful power over them. Furthermore, the military created a constitution which reserved 25% of all parliamentary seats for itself, ensuring that Suu Kyi would be almost powerless to draft bills without tacit military approval. The military has also been infamous for its alleged abuses committed against the people of Myanmar. The military was accused of utilizing scorched earth tactics, such as destroying entire villages suspected of harboring separatists, using child soldiers, and using civilians as slaves and to clear minefields. The military is also supposedly responsible for performing ethnic cleansing and rape of minority groups within Myanmar, with uh, the most recent and well-known being the genocide of the Rohingya. As such, many people in Myanmar, especially NLD supporters, are fearful that with no civilian oversight or input, the military will act with complete impunity and greater disregard towards its own citizens. Aung San Suu Kyi and the international community. Further complicating matters is the fact that Suu Kyi, despite having until recently held a position of power as state councillor, not only refused to condemn the Rohingya's genocide committed by the military, but has actually actively tried to defend the military and its actions. This led to Suu Kyi losing international respect and support that had originally been given to her due to her initial resistance against the brutal rule of the Myanmar military and championing of democracy. It is likely that the military took advantage of her shrinking international clout to depose her with fewer global repercussions. The NLD The NLD and Suu Kyi still enjoy tremendous domestic popular support. Supporters of the NLD vowed to perform acts of stif, uh, civil disobedience, such as refusing to go to work to show their opposition to the military rule. Medical staff nationwide have promised to boycott, boycott work starting today. Very few are, uh, however, willing to participate in protests, as they suspected that such events would likely turn violent, hurt the NLD's public image, and give the military excuses to crack down on them. It is also unknown how the mass vaccination program will continue, as Suu Kyi was previously in charge of distributing 1.5 million vaccines gifted by India, but her position is now vacant. The US's reaction US President Joe Biden vowed to reimpose sanctions on Burma for reversing progress previously made to its democracy. The US, which prefers to call Myanmar by its colonial era name of Burma, called on the international community to join the US in pressuring the Burmese military to return power to the democratically elected civilian government. Biden also said that the US would take note of those who stood up for Burma's people. Biden has bipartisan support in dealing with Burma, 
as Republican leader Mitch McConnell also voiced support to punish the Burmese military for orchestrating the coup. Any motion to sanction Burma or its officials will hence likely pass. Analysts observe that US sanctions will likely be ineffective as most Burmese military officials have little to no interest in traveling to or doing business with the US. China's Reaction China euphemistically described the coup d'etat in Myanmar as a major cabinet reshuffle and a correction to Myanmar's dysfunctional power structure. In it additionally called for all parties in Myanmar to resolve their differences. The Global Times, a nationalist mouthpiece of the CCP, suggested that the coup was possibly inspired by the assault by Trump supporters on the US Capitol. China sees Myanmar as a crucial piece in its Belt and Road initi uh, Infrastructure Initiative. It is also fundamentally opposed to foreign countries interfering in its so-called internal affairs and tends to take a similar stance when interacting with other countries. ASEAN countries' reactions Singapore expressed grave concern about the latest situation in Myanmar and hoped that all parties involved would exercise restraint, maintain dialogue, and work towards a positive and peaceful outcome. Singapore furthermore hoped that the situation would return to normal as soon as possible. Singapore advises Singaporeans in Myanmar to take care and follow the rules there. Malaysia and Indonesia expressed similar concern towards the Myanmar situation, though they were more direct in criticizing the Myanmar military and calling for the restoration of democracy. Brunei Darussalam, the current chair of ASEAN, is consulting other member states on their support for an ASEAN statement. Brunei itself has called for a return to normalcy in Myanmar as well. Brunei called on Myanmar to observe the ASEAN Charter, which calls for adherence to the principles of democracy, the rule of law and good governance, respect for and protection of human rights and fundamental freedoms. ASEAN's key to maintaining regional peace and stability is by honouring the, the principle of non-interference. As such, some ASEAN countries gave a relatively muted response to the domestic crisis unfolding in Myanmar. These nations consisted of Thailand, Cambodia, and the Philippines, who largely dismissed it as an internal affair and said that they would observe the situation.